Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and I received my Archon mount early. Here is the package. I have not unboxed it yet. And I also found out the same, I think it was the same day that I received this, that I am now also an Archon mount affiliate. And I have a code, which is Scrapcraftastic, that can save you 20% off. And I'm sharing the code now because I know when you see how awesome this mount is, you're going to want one too. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and open the box and get it set up. We're going to set this up together. Let's take the packing information out. So this is the Remarkable Creators 3-in-1 Bundle. And as you can see, this is what the mount looks like. And it can hold an iPad and your phone. So if you're recording videos, this is a must-have. I looked into this for a few months before I went ahead and bit the bullet and purchased it. So the Remarkable 3-in-1 Bundle includes a phone stand, LED ring light, a tablet clamp mount. And it's for baking, pottery, stamping, paper crafts, but it's for so much more than that. This is how it comes packaged. So let's see if I can figure out how to put this together. Let's take out the pieces. This is the clip on ring light. We'll play with that. These are the instructions. So these are all the parts. This is how it's assembled, and these are the step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble. That is awesome. Okay. This is not lightweight at all. This is very heavy. So it's gonna hold your camera, your iPad in place. I've purchased at least four or five phone or camera mounts and that does not include the two or three that I've purchased for my vehicle and none of them have done what I wanted which was do an overhead view on my desk I do have a rig for my actual my actual camera that I had to make myself to get that to happen but for my phone say if I just want to go live on Instagram. I didn't have any way to do that. I was hanging my phone from the poles that hold my camera with some string. This string right here to be exact. Okay, so that's, I have a PVC pipe rig that holds my camera. So I was just draping this over it, putting my phone in here like a little swing. So where my hand is would be the phone and it was hanging up like that. <laughs> So if I barely touched it, it would wobble, you know. So this is going to be a total game changer. And I only did that rarely because I knew it was not ideal. So now I'll be able to go live or record with my phone anytime I want to. So I'm going to take the telescoping pole. That's this. And it says this is going to require some force. It's a tight fit, it says. So let's see if I can get this in here. There we go. I hope I got it all the way in. Then it comes with the Allen wrench. Take the Allen wrench and tighten clockwise to secure. So lefty loosey, righty tighty. And that's clockwise on this side so that I have room to turn it. Good instructions so far, especially the part about it being a tight fit. That's good to know because ordinarily I probably would have given up and been like, this isn't right. This doesn't fit. Okay, I think I've turn that enough I don't want to overdo it which I probably already have so attach overhead arm assembly by unscrewing the collar at the top of the pole 
until the metal ball side of the overhead arm assembly fits into the collar. Okay, so this is the overhead arm assembly. And I may need to lay this down so you can see better. This is not the best angle. But what it's basically saying is to unscrew this until that metal ball, this is very heavy weight, uh, good quality. Okay, okay, let's see if it can fit in there now. Let's see, I'm trying to turn this a little better so you can see. Okay, so it does fit. Now I'm going righty tighty to tighten that up, keep it in there. So, and this can swivel and twist to whatever angle you need. So this thing is pretty big. Um, okay, unscrew tightening ring. That's this. I wish I had another camera angle that I could show this to you, but I don't, but I will um, come back and give you a few photos of what it looks like. Okay. So then you can take your phone and then that's another problem. I use an OtterBox for my phone and I do not want to have to take it out of the case to use it. And even though most of these, um, he said put it towards the bottom. Even though most of the phone holders claim that they can hold the width of my phone with the OtterBox on it, they don't. That It's a real struggle and I don't feel comfortable with it. This fits fairly easily in there. Excuse my broken screen protector. I just have not changed it. <laughs> So, and this twists and turns any way that you need it to. Okay, so these little arms allow you, these little, I don't know what they're called. They're part of the arm assembly, allow you to position any way that you want, any angle that you need. Ooh, this is awesome. Okay. So let's tighten this back up. So once I place this base in position, sorry, once I place, place the base in position on my desk, um, I should be able to position my phone pretty much anywhere that I want. So it's very easy to put together, obviously. I just need to figure out how I want to position it. which is probably going to be something like this or this it's probably going to need to be on this side so that I can position like this yeah okay so I'm just going to leave it alone for now <laughs> wow is that okay so then this piece is the tablet holder this is showing how to connect this to the pole so even though this is huge and you can't really see everything that I'm showing you from here it makes Extends. So the pole grows, <laughs> the base pole grows to like, how many inches is this? About 30 inches in height, approximately. Oh my goodness. Putting it back down so that it can fit on my desk so that you can see it. Okay, so that's a feature. So let's attach the holder, which is this piece. So this goes, goes like that. Just hold it like the picture. And then 
the screw is on top so it slides in these holes Let's go ahead and put the legs on. So it contains four short legs, two mediums, and four long legs. Select a combination of four support legs in conjunction for use with the spring-loaded holder to achieve the perfect fit for your tablet. So should I just do the big ones because I have a big tablet? Is that what I should do? And they have like a rubbery uh, base on them so that I guess it won't slip. Let's try it with the big ones. Hopefully I can remove them if I choose to. So when, what are these little doodads for? Okay, so I get it. Once you put these feet on, it has a extension or spring load that opens up so I think that I can use the two big ones because my iPad is pretty large so see here oops it can sit this way I think or this way but if I want it up and down like that I definitely have to use the long feet I'm not sure which direction I'm going to be using it in. So for now, I'm just going to put the long feet on. I think that will be best. So you slide them on. Where's the other one? Like so, like thus. These little doohickeys go on these open ends to kind of finish it off to finish the ends it's a little fiddly because they're so small you gotta hold it just right there we go so see it closes it up see how that's open and that one's closed okay and then you just keep these extras I'll keep these in case I get a different tablet or I want to change how the, my tablet sits in the mount there we go so let's bring this over here this is again what it looks like let me tighten this back up so this opens up here and then the stretchy end, the spring load end, needs to go towards the base, which is here. So, and then open this up enough to go around the pole. There we go. And then, of course, I can position this however I want to tighten it up. And there you go. It moves around on the ball whatever position you need and there it is um, I'm gonna have to give you a better view so this is the camera bolt adapter optional so this is if you are using a regular camera so let's lay this down so if I was not using my phone and I was using my regular camera I could take this piece off and put this ball in and then just screw my camera on here so this is an important piece to keep too and I probably will keep that taped I'm actually going to tape that on to the base so that I always have it because I do have another camera that I sometimes record with so it would be good to have to keep that handy so I'm going to close this up with a little piece of washi tape and put this back in the box this I'm going to actually adhere on here somewhere maybe I'll stick it to the back of the uh, tablet mount just so that it's pretty much out of sight and so then we have the LED clip 
the ring light. Let's see. Let's get into here. I have a clip-on ring light already. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, so it comes with the USB charger. And this is what it looks like. I guess I could look at the little directions. Oh, it comes with the little electric blue velvet case or baggie. Press the power button and light is on. Let's see, this is the power button here. So there we go. So that's one, two, you see that? Three, and then four. Let me turn off my lights um, so you can see it better. One, two. So two is like yellow and white light. That's yellow, and then off. So I would probably use one or two. So that's what that looks like. So that is everything. I could probably hang this on the mount too so that it will always be there actually let me put the charger in here and the little instructions so i'm going to fold this up and keep this i always like to keep the packaging with whatever i purchase just so that i have it for future reference i can just hang this on my mount keep it all together I would put this in there too, but I'm afraid I would forget that it was in there, so. Okay, so this isn't the best lighting, but you're able to see the full mount a little better. And that's what it looks like. This is the packaging, of course. And this is the mount for the tablet or iPad. This is the camera mount. And these arms, these little, they look like little pegs to me. They can be adjusted and moved around to any angle you want. So if you're trying to get an overhead view of your desk, like what you see on the packaging, this makes that possible. And if you've ever tried to get that angle, you know how difficult it can be, especially with other phone mounts um, pretty much they're all just tripods it's hard to find anything like this it's metal it's gonna hold up over time um, so yeah I can't wait to put it to use so let me get back in the craft lab and start getting this set up okay so that is everything again you can check this out at archon.com use my code scrapcraftastic to save 20 percent off your order i'll leave all the information in the description box below i hope you enjoyed this unboxing and assembly video if you did please give me a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time i upload a new video be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week also check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads visit my other channel journal life's journey for live craft videos junk journals and weekly vlogs you can find me across social media at Scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at Scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.